In order to find another Earth, astronomers have to eventually overcome the huge technical challenges of how to view a distant planet. It's a problem that NASA has tackled, much like the race for the moon, with plans that stretch out over decades. The first exoplanet finding mission will be Kepler, which launches in 2009. The NASA survey project is named after the 17th century astronomer, Johannes Kepler, who discovered the laws of planetary motion. What Kepler will do is so utterly simple and yet extraordinarily powerful, it brings tears to my eyes. What Kepler will do is simply be a space-borne telescope and stare at the constellations Cygnus and Lyra, taking picture after picture after picture, with the goal of looking for stars that dim when an Earth-like planet blocks some of the starlight. And it will be the first time that we humans detect other Earth-like planets around other stars. The principal investigator for Kepler is William Baruki. He's been championing the mission for 25 years. Kepler basically is a space mission that puts up a very large telescope. It's very much like a camcorder. It's always taking pictures of these stars, sending that information back to you. The mission is a comparatively small survey project to look at a fixed portion of the sky for an initial time of three and a half years. The main result from Kepler will be to give us a statistical count. It's a head count of, of what the population is. You know, how many small planets do you have and how many large planets do you have? Kepler's results will in turn be used to help decide what will be built for the next generation of planet-finding missions. Kepler really is one step along the way. It's to try to find Earths and find out whether they're frequent. If they are frequent, they must be close. So we can build a modest instrument. If we don't find many Earths, what that means is before you're going to find another one, you're going to have to look at a huge distance into space. So you're going to have to build a much bigger, much more expensive instrument.